I can't believe she's dead. Everything I've done up to this point was meaningless. I shall go mourn elsewhere. Hey all, welcome back to Let's Play East 2. Last time we got into the subterranean canal. And this time we shall get some obscure stuff done in this dungeon before heading well obscure that's not a thing we shall uh, get some items before heading on to the first boss of the dungeon so first thing you want to do is once you exit from here I'm gonna put my handy dandy notebook I believe you want to Head, yeah, up these stairs, obviously. Durr. And in here. Oh no. There's a Zavanite. That's not good at all. But there's nothing in there. If you had had your, uh,. If you were in the roof form, you would, she would tell you that uh, they moved the location to another section of, the sub, of a certain item there to another section of the subterranean canal. Next thing you want to find should be in this room, I believe. Yes. And in here, you'll get the time magic. Incredible. The time magic is probably the most useless type of magic in the game. God, I'm sorry. What the hell? The next thing I believe you need to find is... Sorry. Wrong way. Right up here? No. That room's useless. Is it in... There it is. Here we are. You acquire the Iron Shield. Cut to the fact sector. All right, here in the fact sector now. Right in here, you should head down. And here's a door. Right here should lead us to another item where... There it is. Jesus, that took too long. Okay, so you head this way, head down, head right. Head south, ignore the bridge, head down, and clip here. Thank you. This will contain a cell set of flower, but I already have one. I will be back for this in a bit. I'm going to teleport back to Ramia, heal up, and then we will be facing the boss. 
first thing you want to do is head in the store. Next thing you want to do, equip your soul set of flower. This is the first place I'd recommend using it. Uh, restore your MP. Okay, equip your soul set of flower. Make sure you have the Hawk Idol. Make sure you have the Claria Ring equipped, and make sure your fire magic is equipped. Make sure your armor is reflex. Is the hyper cutter, iron shield, and reflex. Enter here. And make sure, as always, you save before the boss. Luckily, this boss is relatively easy, so I wouldn't be too concerned about too much. No, I definitely don't expect a, uh, a, uh, last boss repeat where I did it without taking any damage. There we go. There's that cell set of flower. Remember when I told you to get back in the mines a few months back? Well, not months back, but a few a few episodes ago. It was a while ago. Like, uh, five. What? You could have forgotten. Insert clip of me saying that. That's totally something I should do, actually. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Come on. Got ya. Oh. <sighs> That was almost a death sentence right there. Go ahead. I still got a plenty of runtime for this. Go ahead and equip the silver pendant. I think we're going to be getting a little bit more done this video. So now you can take the silver pendant on a goddess statue. And you will end out in the Shrine's West Wing. There is some new stuff you can do here. 60,000 gold. That is important. On here. There you go, it's down here, up here, and here, out here, I don't heard a voice coming from the Lil Lila show, at all, there's a boy here to see you, he says it's urgent news, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, what he has to tell you is not urgent news, it is not important at all, So let's just take care of everything out here first. If it was urgent news, I would tell you it was urgent news. The black man. To that is Dallas. We have seen Dallas. It is nothing important. Ahead. Right in here, where you'll get the battle shield. This is the... N Equip that. And in here... Just want my handy name notebook again, because there is some item collecting gotta do. Cool.
Nothing else we gotta do right now. Just checking those notes. I believe you want to go in this door. No. That's back the way we came. One minute. So, yeah. You want to head down these stairs, I think, is it? Found it. Yes, right in here is the next section of the subterranean canal. In here, you want to find someone. But where is he? That's the question. Well. I know what to find. He should be. No. He should be down here. What am I looking for? You want it? He's up in the corner. I know where he is. Okay. Let me figure this out now. He should be... Right up here. Yeah, I know where I'm going. Cool. Yeah, I see him. Cool. You want to talk to this guy. You're the one who helped me when I was locked in the burned blessed lava prison. My name is Keith. I, I lost control of my emotions, so I ran away from the guards and hid here. You need to contact the goddesses, right? Then what you need to do is go to the goddess palace. From what I can tell you, though, the only way left to get there is to slip through the can is to slip in through the canal. Go to the canal control room. Once you're there, close the water gates to dam the canal. That's the first real step. Here, I've got the key. Take it. Consider it my thanks for your help in the lava prison. I'm going to stay here for a while and try to calm myself. Yep. So, first thing we're going to do is teleport back to Ramia so I can heal up. Then I want to do something. something in this palm sh in Jade's palm shop, oddities, I guess, is a better question. You don't want to talk to him. You want to buy an item, and you want to buy the elixir. So, this elixir, buy it. Now, teleport back to the runaway's hideout. What you want to do now is... I'm going to just go ahead and eat that real quick. Cool. So, first thing you want... Next thing you want to do... Is get to the entrance of the canal, I guess. Well, I know for a fact. But... <laughs> cool there should be a door around here somewhere that you need to enter where is that door find out no just kidding right in here go in here 
And you pull this switch. Pull this lever. You'll gain 2,000 experience for pulling... Well, 15,100 experience for pulling that lever. Incredible. So now you want to find a way down into the canal. There are a few items you can find down here, plus you can get the cell set of flower now, which I'm definitely going to try and pick up. If I can. Find it. I don't think it's going to be a big deal if I don't. Right up here. Cool. I found my way down. So, where is it? Right here. Battle armor. This is the second most powerful armor in the game. Go ahead and equip that. Right from here, head east and then north. And then up here. Yes, that's where I was meant to go. Okay. That was easier than I thought. I don't know why. I messed that up really badly. And here... I believe you want to get that up there. Yes, definitely that up there. See, and this is the Falcon Idol. Good. That's what I wanted. Go as far south as you can. And I believe there is somewhere else I want to enter. So up here, I believe it is right here. Yes, cool. Radical. Acquire the battle sword. This is the second most powerful sword in the game. Equip it. All right, now that we are done here, we have uh, pretty much made it through the canal. Sorry, I got the hiccups. Now all you want to do is find your way back up there and then head through that door next to the Hawk Idol. I probably could have gone for the Battle Sword first, which I probably should have, but it is what it is. You'll see Keith out here. It's me, Keith. This is the entrance to the Bell Tower, known for the, known as the Capanile of Lane, and the sacrificial ritual is beginning. On the fifth toll, the girl Maria will die. Zava is lying in wait at the entrance but I'm not strong enough to fight her. You need to save that poor innocent girl in my place at all, please. Oh yeah, you also got some pretty good enemies to fight out here. Um, though I am strong enough to take on Zob, I believe. Oh well, we'll just take on whatever fights me. First thing you want to do, though, is head in here while equipping the Silver Pendant. We are the Goddesses of East. Please come forward. It is good that you have come. We have great need of your strength. In order to reach the core of the shrine, where we await, you will need to find and use the second pendant. Some of our people have been turned to stone, and one of them carries it. Also, enshrined in the Capanile is an item called the Dreaming Idol. It can be used to undo the curse of petrification. First, bring the idol to us, and we shall instruct you ha in its use. Cool. You can heal up here. Alright, I recommend equipping a healing item. You could also grab the Celceta flower, though I don't think I'm going to need it. I don't tend to use magic as much as uh, 
What is it? The Falcon Idol is what you're going to equip, though. That item you just got, equip that. Forty-six. And the experience isn't that good anymore, so I'm not gonna worry about it. So make sure you equip. You know, I've always wondered. Since Zop was more sentient than the last boss we fought. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up and then I will I'm gonna see what happens. What happens if I equip the altar magic and go in the door? What? I don't think I'm supposed to. Okay. Well, <laughs> I've that's that's a that's a thing. Wow. Okay. To beat Zaba, you first have to take out these bats. Zaba is considered, again... I know some people... I consider Zaba the hardest boss in the game. Without a doubt. Though, really, if you know how to take Zav on, she is not too difficult. And like I said, I don't tend to use much MP. Not enough to, you know, get a game over here, I wouldn't think. Not enough to run out. I mean, I have 245 as my max, I think. Or was it 240? Doesn't matter. Yeah, 245 is my max. I'm only at 240, and the hard part's almost over. So, like... So, yeah. If you want to go grab the cell set of flower, go do it. It's not mandatory. Because I did learn a see another technique to... Because I don't know if my, my first playthrough, like, if I just abused magic more than I needed to. That's my concern. Either way. Yeah, take out the bats. We're almost done with this phase. And once you finish up the bats, the boss should become a... Now you can start firing at Zava. She is this is without doubt the easiest phase of the fight cool and that's that all right let's keep going the distance the toll of the sacrificial bell could be heard the ritual has begun Stay away. There's no reason for you to die as well. There's no way for you to save me. Please, you must flee this place. Get away while you can. Watch this. Oh, yeah? Well. There's no way for me to save you? Watch this. Time magic activated. Oh. Oh. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Well, we better get to the top of the tower.
this bell ring a second time. Oh no. I'm speed running this. The bell rang a third time. The bell tolled a fourth time, only one remaining. Dallas, such a brave warrior you are at all. I am truly impressed that you've made it this to this lofty height. I suppose I shall do you the favor of explaining the ri to you the ritual you are about to witness. The ancestors of the priests of this land lived over 700 years ago, but their descendants still reside in the east today. The intent of this ritual is to root out the exter and exterminate them, for you see, the priest prodigies are sickeningly heroic. Those priests, those of priestly blood are the most likely to come rushing in, braid reddishing a righteous indignation. Or perhaps we'll simply get lucky and the priest descendants will become among the sacrificial victims themselves. In any event, those of priestly descent must be killed. Thus, our orders are to cut down all who enter these halls. I believe you understand, then. Now, the bell has tolled four times, and this last shall be the sweetest. The bell atop the tower ring for the fifth time and the final time, cutting the stillness in the air. All you can do is reflect upon your own inadequacies and your utter powerlessness.